shades. Hi guys, I'm back after a few months of not posting videos on YouTube. The reason why I was gone is because I had some more procedures done. As you can see, I've had my boobs done and I've had my jaw done. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys about it and like what you guys missed. It was one of the easiest surgeries that I have ever got. I, yes, I did get them at the same time because I was like, mm, you're going under anesthesia, might as well do two in one the final price was twenty eight thousand, and i yeah decided to go with this doctor that's in montreal i did not travel because i really didn't want to because i feel like i feel i feel like after bbl i got so traumatized from like getting it in miami that i was like you know what i'm gonna like chill and get it here and i did love his results for breast augmentation and chin um v-line surgery which is what i got and the rest of my face i'm gonna i am gonna travel because i want a specific surgeon to do those things left that i want to do overall the pain was literally non-existent i've had more of a struggle with my jaw um so basically what he did um he cut the inside of my mouth all the way around here and then he pulled it open like pulled my mouth open and then shaved and cut out bones i will insert a picture right now of the bones that he did take out they are humongous that's a lot of bone for a jaw and he did take out so much that he did say that i could get like um loose skin under my chin since he took out so much it was a risk and i do have a little bit sometimes in certain angles i can see a double chin which is like kind of like irky to me it's been what like almost two months i've had it on november 6th so it's almost been two months the boobs literally the easiest surgery i've ever had in my entire life had no pain the only pain i felt when i would lift my arms try to pick something up that was kind of like heavy that was like very surprising the thing with the jaw is that you can't eat solid food for like a while after because your mouth is like stitched um close this part I had to be on a liquid diet for like a week so i did lose so much weight but I, I gained it all back like the two weeks after yeah i was pretty surprised overall like it was super easy and i'm so happy with the results he killed it um it is still swollen apparently like it's gonna take a few months for the swelling to like leave fully so i hope that my double chin that i have in like certain angles is the swelling for the boobs i did go under the muscle and i I chose to go with 375 I think cc's and at first I wanted 275 so he did go up 100 cc's because he said that um the results that I wanted because it's under the muscle the muscles are gonna squeeze the implant so it, they're gonna make it they're gonna seem smaller so I was like you know I trust you you know what I want and like make sure that that's what I get when I woke up I was like girl <laughs> where are my boobs i was freaking the fuck out this was not here it was like squished i looked even flatter than what i came in with my friends that have got their boobs done they were like relax it's normal like your muscles are just like so fucking tight and they're not stretched at all and then th your real boobs like on top of it since i got out of surgery and they like were traumatized they were like Ugh. it looked like i was so flat flat chested I was kind of freaking out. One of my biggest worries was that they were going to be far apart because I do have a tiny ass chest. A lot of people when they meet me in person, they think I face zoom the fuck out of my pictures. I kind of do, but like not that part. My waist is always small. My like rib cage is small. I'm just built small there. I was really scared that they were going to like separate. You know those girls that have like their boobs under their fucking arms? <laughs> like they're so separated like this. I just did not want to have that. It was like one of my biggest like worries. So I did mention it to him again and again. And then right before I went into surgery, I looked at him and the anesthesia was kind of hitting and I, or the drug that they give you before anesthesia. And I look at him and I go, you better make my fucking chin so tiny and pointy. And then I go, and if my boobs are far, because you're on, you're on drugs, right? It's basically drugs. So... I was just going off telling him exactly what I wanted and bitch he ate. For my chin, it was pretty like traumatic because I have to wear like a fucking chin strap for the longest time. It's so uncomfortable. I've had a lot of sleepless nights 
and like still now I feel like my schedule is fucked up. I go to sleep at like 3 a.m. and then I'll wake up at like 1 and I'll be like the fuck and then I'll have to like unstrap it. And then when you unstrap it, that's like something that I've never seen anyone talk about because I did do my research. When you unstrap it, you feel like your whole fucking face is gonna like fall. It's insane. It's like so scary. I am getting more procedures done in like a couple months and I can't wait to show you guys and document everything on YouTube. I was thinking about just like not even talking about it, not even addressing it because I'm annoyed recently. It's so crazy how people either they're like oh my god you're fake you're plastic of course you're kind of pretty like you got surgery or they'll be like on your side but then they say the most backhanded shit oh my god you guys i can't wait to look like this in a year i'm getting my surgeries okay so you're just telling me that i look like this because i'm getting surgeries and you're summing me up in a year in terms of life update i am currently single and I don't remember exactly what you guys don't know because it's been so long since I talked on YouTube. But I will probably do like a Q&A life update um, like soon. Yeah, I'm getting surgeries in a few months. So hopefully I will post more videos before that. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for um, just, you know, being here still. And if you've been here since the beginning, you are a OG. I love you so much. Oh. Wait, I forgot. I forgot the biggest thing of all, you guys. Okay, so I am getting a third vaginoplasty. I know. It's like, what the fuck? You've had two. Like, what's not going right now? Dilation. It's like a bitch. It's been three years. I'm dilating almost every day still, and it's still so fucking tight. It hurts. It's just not working. So I decided to get the Colin one which is basically they use a piece of your colon. But then one of my friends have mentioned that they kind of smell and they leak a lot of, like, discharge. So I was like, huh, no, thank you. So I did my research and I found this technique. It's called the pull-through method or something. And they use, I think it is, they use your stomach lining or something and it's really good apparently it's like the best technique so i'm like looking into it i'm probably gonna get it not now probably like in a year i just want to be done and just you know live my cisgender girl life i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye i have eyes everywhere bitch